Hello everyone, this is Val from Valia Craft Studio and I'd like to now show you the second of my beach journals. Uh, this one's called By the Sea and it's my usual size of 9 by 6 with a 1 inch spine, that's inches, and which is 230 by 150 by about a 25 millimeter spine. Uh, it's got a collage uh, scrappy on the front with a ruffle and some this uh, lace that kind of looks like netting so I like that look for the sea thing and on the back it's got another image from my kit and I've just called this one by the sea um, it's tied with blue ribbon I've left the pages white in this one the other one is uh, coffee tea stained and it's one is called life the beach but I've made this one a little bit more uh, generically suitable for any age whereas the other one might be someone a bit tongue-in-cheek the life's a beach uh, title lots of writing spaces with different papers in here including the kit pages so that's one of them there and uh, tuck spots and so forth I've used some stuff I got through um, not really happy mail it was kind of like the wishing well type thing on my in my group Valo Craft Studio and a couple of lovely ladies um, sent me some stuff for this journal actually three did but the ones I can tell you off the top of my head are, are Colleen Casey who sent me a beautiful booklet about the sea and Gina Rouse who sent me these um, journaling cards which both are just so gorgeous and suit the, the uh, this journal so well uh, I know other people sent me happy mail as well but some of it actually maybe got put aside and didn't make it into these journals but I'll be making more ladies so I don't think I've forgotten you variety of papers like I said this is just some cardstock that um, I have in my collection that just went so well with this kit and here I've made what I really love one of my little um, surprise kind of secret treasure kind of uh, thing so you just open that out and inside it I've got some little pieces of writing paper um, and some card little cards little tags and things and the tiniest little envelope here that I've made look how cute is that so you know I kind of didn't really design it for anybody in particular but kind of think this one would be gorgeous for a young girl who loves the the beach and the sea uh, here we go with um, another one of the pieces from the kit that the, the page that Colleen sent me sorry it was a booklet that Colleen sent me and I've cut the them out and put them onto cardstock and another one of the beautiful cards that Gina sent me um, that's one of the file folders from the kit that's a kit page very strongly influenced uh, by where I got some of the ephemera and the page the backing papers from and that was the graphics fairy so um, I'm a member there and it's very helpful because uh, sometimes you just need some of the gorgeous ephemera and pieces that you can get from over there little flip up there so as I said the pages have been left white because I think this would be a gorgeous book for a young girl or you know someone older who perhaps you know likes the cleaner more streamlined look not so much the grungy, excuse me, <coughs> the grungy that we like with our, with our tea and coffee staining. Here I've just made a little multi-level uh, uh, folder and I got this idea off, um, off YouTube for off video and I'm trying to think whose it was. I lot, watch so many people but uh, I watch um, Natasha from Treasure Books, I watch uh, Pam from the Paper Out Outpost and I do a lot of watching recently of Lynn Branch of I think she's Pretty Paper Crafts 67 um, on YouTube and any one of those could have could have showed me how to make that one but um, I haven't stuck it into the book because it's double sided and so it's just a touch with a paper clip there music paper bit of uh, tracing paper there made a little pocket type thing there with uh, somewhere for a tag in the middle, a tuck spot at the front and there's room at the back for another card. A 
both this journal and the Life's a Beach journal are for sale at the moment. I'll put the link down below to my group on Facebook. If you want to contact me, you may do so over there. Um, and in addition, the kits that I used for this are in my Etsy store, and I'll leave a link for that as well. I didn't actually separate it into two kits before I did the journal, so each journal is a mixture of both sets of paper. Um, it was afterwards, after I'd made the, the, the journals that I decided to put the, the kits up on Etsy and I had to split it into two because of the size of it. So I'll put the links to the kits I've used but as I said, uh, each journal has elements from both kits. This is beautiful paper. It's really, I don't know, it's very, it just feels so good. I just love the different, the different textures when you're flipping through a journal. One of the multi-level pockets I make with, um, I don't know if this one is just book page, I think this one's made with uh, nesting book pages, but sometimes I also use uh, nested envelopes, just a couple of envelopes nested together to make the, to make the, the pockets. Just a little side tuck there with some of the background paper. Here I've just made a little collaged um, altered paper clip with uh, one of my images on the front and a little bit of that lace that I spoke of from the front and just a little piece of the paper from Colleen's booklet that's been backed onto some cardstock. I always include some lined papers in my kits. There's always one or two, maybe three lined papers and then I introduced some other ones and this blue one that just it was just a little exercise book that had blue pages in it but I think the blue looks really nice in here so lots of writing space and touch and all the rest of that that's just some cardstock so with this cardstock I've just folded one piece of it over to and, and glued at the top and bottom to create that side tuck and on the back I've just stuck a card to make another pocket there. Here I've made a little double envelope so there's a little pocket in there a little inside the envelope and then that just ticks under that and there's another um, thing in that in the second part and then I've got that in the back of it then behind that I've got a little like baggie and there's a tag in there just made from some cardstock and one of those journaling cards from Gina at the very back and here I've just um, created a kind of like a low belly band it doesn't actually close at the bottom but it holds together um, my card and also this which is kind of like it's kind of like a, a bookmark in its own um, holder and that just slips in there and goes behind the, the belly band and that's the back of the book thank you so much for looking bye now